Kayla Harrison, heard of her, oh, has yeah. uh, decided to join the full two-time Olympic gold medalist in judo, two-time PFL champ, and so much for easing her way in. She is taking on Holly Holm at UFC 300 right out of the gates, Rashad. My goodness. That's a tough one. That, that is a big, tough one. I mean, listen, Kay Kayla's a, a girl. She's a big girl at, at that, uh, but she's got to cut the weight. And I feel like that's going to be the hardest part about this, getting to the weight class. And then she got a tough veteran in Holly Holm who's shocked the world before. You know, and it's so hard because I want to just talk about her skills, but we have to address the weight because when she fought in PFL at one point, they had a lightweight division specifically for her. She fought at 155 pounds. She's fighting Holly at Bantamweight. She's got to make the 136-pound limit. So we're going to see how that complements her, her style because she did say she did a test cut and she did a simulation fight and she said it was all systems go. So if that's the case, that could be a big shakeup for the Bantamweight division. Uh, Holmes' last fight against Myra Buena Silva, originally a loss, overturned to a no contest after Buena Silva tested positive for advanced substance. Yeah, and for Holly Holm, I mean, at her best, she is, I mean, she's in the Boxing Hall of Fame. She's got incredible striking. And, you know, you go back to the Ronda Rousey fight, who, when we talk about Kayla Harrison, there is a comparison between her and Ronda Rousey from having the judo chops. So, could. Holly Holm go out there and, and recapture the same magic that we saw her have in that Ronda Rousey fight. That could be true, but as of late, we have seen Holly Holm with a more grappling heavy approach where she likes to pressure her opponents against the fence. Not seeing a lot of striking on the feet from her anymore, but nonetheless, she's still dangerous. But I think it's the grappling aspect that's going to play in her favor for this fight because with Kayla Harrison, she's a judo champion and she grapples a lot. So I feel like Holly is, is at the perfect wrestling temperature right now as far as understanding, as far as implementing, as far as defending it. So I feel like this would be better geared for her right now. When it comes to striking, she's going to have that advantage. But the fact that she's grappling a lot better now, she probably would fare better in this fight now.